New developments on a story we first told you about on Eyewitness News this morning. A trooper opens fire on a car in a Providence parking lot. And now we've learned it was part of a hit and run investigation and police say the suspect was driving straight toward two state troopers when the gunfire broke out. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lance joins us now live from state police headquarters in Situate with the Northwest Mobile Newsroom. Mike and Shannon, a state trooper is on administrative leave tonight after firing a single shot into a moving vehicle. It's a move that state police say they support. This was the scene early Tuesday morning in the parking lot of University Heights Shopping Center in Providence after Rhode Island State Police say one of their own troopers fired a single shot into the windshield of a moving car. The Colonel and I, based on the preliminary investigation, fully support the troopers that were there. Police say the trooper feared for his safety when the driver of a Ford Focus headed straight towards him okay. and his partner. Authorities say this man, Raymond Mitchell of Providence, was behind the wheel. Mitchell was suspected of sideswiping an off-duty North Providence police officer's car earlier that night. Neither Mitchell nor any of the other three passengers inside were hit. Police say after the gunshot, a short struggle ensued between police and Mitchell. About 12 hours later, he stood before a judge several times trying to make his case. The judge gave Mitchell a $30,000 bail. We found out this is not Mitchell's first run-in with the law. Authorities say the 24-year-old faced drug charges in Florida and a current gun charge in Providence. Since a loaded gun was fired by an officer, the attorney general and Providence police have stepped in to investigate. State police is already conducting its own internal investigation. The colonel will be doing a review of the facts and circumstances. And state police say the situation could have been much, much worse. Coming up at 6, they discuss the real dangers that their team faces while out in the field. Reporting live with the Northwest Mobile Newsroom, Shante Lands, Eyewitness News.